you saw in the last video, we're putting a 106 millimeter atmosphere charger on the quad cab. Still leaving the stainless 472 on the manifold. This is a turbo that we found on 3 Performance has been selling for a while, but nobody's really run it on a diesel application. Uh, they've had really good results with it on some of their Lamborghinis and Mustangs they've run them on. Uh, so we're going to put it on here and hopefully it works out well. It's a journal bearing GT55 knockoff essentially. Um, but it's only $1,250, so I think it's going to be a good option for guys who want to make big power. Um, it's going to be reasonable, it's going to be affordable, and I want to put it on the quad cab, put it through its paces uh, before I tell customers to buy them, because I don't want to sell anything that's not going to be a problem down the road. And because of what we learned on David Large's truck, I wanted to go to a 5-inch downpipe to make sure our 4-inch downpipe doesn't hold us out at all. So. Given Cody something to work with, uh, we remade one, my 1A air conditioning line. Uh, just give us more room for that 5-inch downpipe. It is hard to fit that 5-inch tube between the frame and the bell housing of the transmission um, without getting any rattles. Because if your downpipe touches anything, you get a rattle in the cab when you're driving, and that annoys me. So we're just making it fit just right. Okay, today we've got the quad cab on the dyno. Uh, this is the first dyno session since we put the 107 millimeter on three performance turbo as the atmosphere. So this is still the 728710 uh, five blade stainless diesel turbo on the manifold. We've made quite a bit of passes on it, smacking on it, everything seems good. Today I want to max out this setup with the 275% overs and see what we gained uh, over the S488. The most power we made with the S488 on the atmosphere was 1,366 horsepower uh, on this last revision. Um, we and we had at uh, 1,400 horsepower, but that was stretching the injector pulse without a little bit further than what I liked. Um, so today I'm going to max this out, see what this thing does as far as boost numbers and horsepower, and then I'm going to pull the 275% injectors out and put in a set of 300% overs that have some body modifications that are different that Extra G wanted me to test. So this is going to be a back-to-back -back comparison day this afternoon between the 275s which have virtually no body modifications to a 300% over nozzle with some body modifications that they've done. They're trying to focus on getting this truck as clean as possible on the street and still be able to support the horsepower that I want to make. So I guess we will put this thing through its paces and see what kind of noise we can make today. Okay, we made a couple runs and I was not able to uh, find the exact tune file that I had made the 1366 on. I had a tune file saved that I had made 1352 horsepower with the 488, so I ran that exact tune file with this setup and that setup did 1465 horsepower with the on three turbo on the atmosphere. So it's 110 horsepower gain, just putting a bigger atmosphere charger on it. It made like 112 pounds of boost. So I know it's thumping some good air in there. And on 1,280 horsepower tune-up, which we run for our 670 index, I can pretty much do a quarter mile run and it not go over 1,500 degrees EGTs, which is what we're looking for. We're trying to cool it down, stay on the lean side of the curve. It's, everything's cleaner and it makes the engine last longer when there's less heat at that power level. So now we're going to pull the injectors out of it. The, uh, put, pull the 275s out, put the 300% in, and then do some comparisons between the 275s and the 300% to see if we can make a little more power um, and also get some of our drivability and clean up some of the bottom end with some of the uh, modifications they did to the body mod. So those bigger injectors should deliver fuel a little bit faster, which gets more fuel in before top dead center. That's the goal of a faster uh, delivering the fuel as fast as we can so that we can get all the fuel burned in the cylinder so it's not continuing to burn when the exhaust valve opens because late fuel will end up burning in your exhaust manifold which makes high exhaust gas temperature and it also overspeeds turbos when you have a lot of exhaust gas temperature at that power level. These are the 300% overs. Here you can see the flow sheet and they are ready to roll. 574 milligrams at 2200 US, 180 MPA. 
This is your shot to shot deviation here. So the percentage, they basically take a thousand shots of the injector and that's how much the percentage of deviation is at running. And then this is the return flow of the body and that's the nozzle flow uh, when it's not on the body. So overall your whole injector down here, you can see your spread. All six injectors have a 1.1% spread of your flow rate all the way through. Okay, while Josh is installing the 300%, I'm working on mapping out the uh, injector map for the new 300% overs. So Phil at Exergy uh, sent out an injector map and this basically gives me the total fuel quantity for a whole bunch of different set points of pressure versus duration. So I'm basically going off of this injector map that he sent from his calibration bench and putting it into the HP Tuner's Tune file that I'm working on and this gives me a lot more accurate control. I know that I can go out and it's going gonna, it's gonna to have the correct fuel quantity for the pressure and fuel quantity that I'm looking for. I get a lot better pedal linearization, better fuel control, and it just helps me right out of the box to get me a better tuned file. There's a lot less guesswork involved. So I'm going to get this done while he finishes this up and we're going to make some noise here in a minute. Okay, first run with the 300% overs, we started at 1600 microseconds. That's 600 microseconds less than what we ended up with on the 275s. And we did 1402 horsepower at only 86 pounds of boost. Here you can see a comparison between run one with the 300s and the last run with the 275s. The main difference that we're seeing is we're getting a lot more fuel injection injected before top dead center because with the body mods that they did to the injectors you're getting the injector to full lift at a lot faster and the more fuel you get in before top dead center the more fuel that's burned in the cylinder and less that's burned in the manifold that's why boost is considerably lower and we're within 60 horsepower of our peak power with the 275s so i'm going to bump injector pulse width up to 1800 microseconds which adds 200 microseconds and hopefully boost will continue to stay reasonable and we'll be able to make more horsepower and we'll be able to see significant gains with a bigger injector. Fifteen hundred and fifty horsepower and nineteen hundred and thirty foot-pounds of torque is what it made at two thousand microseconds and boost was getting up there. We were like 117 pounds of boost I just know that we are running away with dry pressure without the manifold charger being that small. So we are going to call it quits for today. We could probably add a little bit more fuel if we really wanted to, but there's really no point. I'm going to dial this thing back to 1,280 horsepower. And that's really what we want this truck to do is run 10 and a half seconds in the quarter mile or 670 in the eighth. It's won the four point seasons at ODSS in 670 index before. And so we're going to dial this thing back now, and Lana's going to take it to the track tonight and get this thing ready for shine. So hope you guys enjoyed this comparison, and this tells us that a bigger injector with the correct body mods delivering fuel faster will lower your boost numbers, lower your EGTs, and be able to make more power because of that faster fuel delivery. So good injectors are very critical to a good running setup.